What's up? Hello, hello. What's going on? I'm good, good. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. No problem, no problem, no problem. Can you see me or am I, am I like... I, I, I can see you perfectly. Can you see me? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just like cut off. No, no problem. I'm just looking at this. No, like you're, you're from my perspective, your friend is perfect. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So when I edit it, you, like you look perfect now, and I'll, I'll look like a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> so in, so please introduce us to yourself. What's up, people? I'm Chris Campbell. Infinite Creators is, is my show that I have on uh, YouTube, and we also on uh, Twitch now, and we do we have a Facebook group, and we're we're growing, we're growing. Very fast. <laughs> I wouldn't say fast. I mean, it's work. It's it's been consistent. As long as we've been consistent and putting in the work, everything's been 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 doing all right. How long have you been doing this for Infinite Creators? Um, the Infinite Creators came about maybe I'm gonna say a, a year, probably a year strong. Yeah. Only a year? Yeah, only a year strong. Only a year strong. We've been going, but like I said. I, at one point, I had to get serious about doing it, and before it was just like sort of being a novice. And what really got me into it? I know you didn't ask me, but you just asked me how long did I was doing it. Yeah, and it keep was, going, keep going. <laughs> it was my daughter basically who who got me into it because she when she was around ten years old, she was uh she wanted to do YouTube videos, and obviously I bought her a camera, and she has the computer and all that stuff. But she got to like 82 subscribers. And when she got to 80, 82 subscribers, she just didn't want to do it anymore because of the kids in her school and things like that. So I just wanted to prove to her that, hey, this is how you, you do it. You know, I, I just wanted her to see that you can, you can go further than 82 if you really make your mind up to it, you know? So that's how it pretty much started. This was not an original question that I was gonna ask you, if you don't mm -hmm. mind. No, you're good, you're good. Because um I really I recently did an interview with a with a teenager mm -hmm. and she was talking about like bullying in school mm -hmm. and two two part question, does your daughter go through that now? And second part question, what can we as adults do to help di diminish diminish it? I think that's that's the word for it. Get okay. rid of it, I guess is the word, the mm -hmm. phrasing. Well, the first the, to answer the first part to that question is I don't think she was bullied personally because me knowing my wife, if my wife ever found out that my kid was bullied, my wife would be to that school like that day. So I don't think that that happened. But I think people need to be aware, absolutely. And I think my wife is very more in touch with that and more aware. But it's one of these things, depending on where you live, you know, where your kids go to school and things like that, that's something that you definitely have to pay attention to. But as a, as a parent, you just have to look for the, the signs and the cues. But for me, with the YouTube channel, I just had to let her see that, hey, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. If you want to do it and it's something that you want to do, do it, you know? But I've never had any problems, you know, with her, with school or, or her friends or anything like that. But it was just basically me wanting to show her that whatever you want to get, get done, you can, you can accomplish it. Okay, cool. So where did the name Infinite Creator come from? <laughs> I'm sure you get asked that all the time. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't I don't I don't get asked that that uh a lot. But the name happened what it started out as uh first I thought about infinite intelligence, you know, I read a lot. So when I started reading a lot, really like I got, I really started like getting into some no, I wouldn't say esoteric information. But I came across like infinite intelligence, changed my email account to infinite intelligence. And then it went from infinite intelligence. I'm like, I'm not going to do infinite intelligence. I'll go to infinite creator. But if you think about what 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 is an infinite creator, you know, and, and that somebody has to come to that conclusion for themselves. So it went from me being an infinite creator, singular, to infinite creators, plural, because I don't just represent me. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's other people out there who I try to uplift, inspire, or to share with and help them reach their goals and, and where they're trying to go, where they want to go. So it's just not about me. You know what I mean? And when I think of an infinite creator, we all are infinite creators, whether you realize it or not. You know, you're creating when you speak, 
You're creating when you're, you're thinking. You're creating when you're working. You're, you're always creating. But it's up to us to realize that. So that came, <laughs> that came from me basically evolving and growing, I would say. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Okay. So um, <laughs> now I'm the right page. I always do this. Okay. Why do you say I salute the divinity in you? Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. If you ever taken yoga, if you ever did yoga, and I believe it's in India. Like I said, I read a lot and I listen to a lot of audio. And, and in India, they say, I salute the divinity in you. You know, I, I actually grasped that from um, Joseph Murphy, Dr. Joseph Murphy. If you ever listen to anything by Dr. Joseph Murphy, he's a good person to read. The Power of the Subconscious Mind. He, he, he would say, I salute the divinity in you. So I borrowed that from Dr. Joseph Murphy. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's all the saying is namaste. If you take yoga and they say namaste in yoga, that's I salute the divinity in you. So I say I salute the divinity in you and I respect the divinity in you. And even if they don't realize that they're divinity, at least I could hopefully, hopefully let them see that, hey, there's something more to you. And it's up to you to find that out. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 okay, okay. What is the great reset? Oh, the great <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know, I mean that there's a lot of information out there. I mean, everybody has their own idea of what the great reset is. But for me, everybody was talking about uh 2020, the 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 winter solstice in December 20, I think it was December 22nd or the 23rd. And it's basically people, I want to say for, on a spiritual level, maybe they, you would hear people talk about going from like the 3D. Now, the 3D is, is like the physical, the physical realm, but it's all like mental and spiritual. And when people say going from the 3D to the 5D, you know, it's just, it's, it's I don't want to say it's semantics or it's a play on words or, because everybody has a different path. For me, it may be something like everybody said, oh, we're going to get superpowers. Certain people were going to get superpowers on the 22nd of December, yeah. which is, yeah. you know, ridiculous because your power to believe, believe is a superpower. You know, your power to choose is a superpower. You already have superpowers. We all, we all have superpowers, but I can't tell you that. You have to realize that. <laughs> you have to realize that. So there's certain people who are waiting for a certain time, you know, like, and I don't want to, I'm not going to knock anybody for anything that they believe, what they, they don't believe or what they do believe. But um, there's a lot of people who who waiting for certain things to happen and, and they're not going to happen because that, that, that has to happen within you. You understand? You, that doesn't happen outside of you. Most of these things that people talk about, especially on a spiritual level or on a, an esoteric knowledge, most of that is dealing with you as a as a as a person or you as a being, a spirit, spiritual being. Yeah. That's wow, that's <laughs> super sorry. I feel like, sorry. You okay. Got, you okay? No, yeah, I I feel like that something's happening right now. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know. <laughs> um um forgive me for the Misphrasing. No, you're good. What's the the law of karma? Mm, mm hmm Okay, you just want to know about the law. What is this? Is is, is it karma or is it karma? Karma, karma. Like it's uh, it basically it's uh, when you talk about karma, it's what you put out comes back to you. Like what goes yeah. around comes around. You and people. It's also it could be known as the law of cause and effect. There's, it's a lot of it's, it can be called a lot of different things, but it, when people start understanding like the different laws and and basically that our lives are governed by laws, then it takes on a whole different perspective. So when you ask me about like the law of karma, it, it's huge, it, it's big because then you you're gonna watch what you do and you're gonna watch what you say. Like people don't even realize before they even saying things, you have to think it before you even say it. So that means you have to yeah. watch your your thinking before you speak it, that's karma. Whatever you put out there, that's what's going to come back. So you might get away now. You might get away now. But ultimately, you gotta, you're going you're gonna to pay for whatever it is that you do. 
Who made these laws? Who made the, well, I think there's universal laws. I think there's natural laws. I think uh, as you go down history and you look at maybe like Edison and, and Tesla and people like this, when, when, when you start doing your homework and you start studying, all you have to do is really get out of nature and, 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 and go into the silence and start studying, maybe even studying yourself. And you're gonna, there's things that you're going you're gonna to find out. You're just going to find it out. And remember, and I, I'm, I don't like to quote the Bible. I'm not going to quote the Bible or anything, but they say for me, growing up, I used to hear for me in my house, we will serve the, the Lord. But the, what I got from that was for me in my house, we will serve the law. Because if you break the law, what happens? You get punished. Exactly. So most, yeah. people, so most people don't understand that when, it, when it's the Lord they're talking about, it's the law. But if you don't know what the law is, how are you gonna how are you gonna comply? You can't comply with something that you don't understand. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So most people yeah. are, are they're, they're reading things that they don't have any understanding. That's why it says that all you're getting get understanding. You know, if you can't if you don't understand what it is that you're reading, or, or you don't get it, then how are you gonna ever you're gonna know? So you get, people are just violating the law, violating laws, and they don't know that they're violating laws. But yet they expect that their lives to change. How is your life going to change when you, you you don't know what the rules are? What? What's up? <laughs> I'm thinking about a lot right now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, um. In your background, you have a um, you a jersey? Yeah, I got a jersey back there. Yeah. Did you play sports? Yeah. Uh huh. That's your jersey. Yeah, that's mine. Who'd you play for? I went to Boston College, so that was that's from college. Yeah. What'd long you play? Time, long time ago. Long time ago. It's like it was like two years ago. No, no, no. <laughs> this was in the early nineties. This was in the early nineties, yeah. What what'd you play? I played running back. I played a lot of special teams though. Yeah, in college. What what did you learn from that experience? What I learned from playing, well, I think uh, the biggest thing that I got got from playing uh, college ball, high school football, sports, is teamwork. Teamwork is what makes the dream work. You know, and I always say, and I tell my kids all the time, you, no, no person's an island unto themselves. We all are part of the whole. We all are part of, you know, no sum is greater than the whole. You know, so the, one of the best lessons I've ever learned is like, I don't necessarily, and I play with people, I might not like this person but I don't have to like them in order for me to work with them to, wow. to, to accomplish a goal. You know, you understand? So if, so if there's a common goal and this is what teamwork's about, if there's a common goal and everybody's working towards that goal, then there's nothing that we can't accomplish, you know? And I think even today, everybody's got differences. You know, nobody's been raised the same way. We all come from different backgrounds, walks in life. This, this is America. This is America. And I get it. And it's a melting pot. But if we respect each other and there's a common goal, then there's nothing that we can't do. And I learned that from football. You learned that from football? <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. we, we got to work together. At the end of the day, we got to work together. That's crazy. Yeah. In a good way. In a good way. That's crazy in a good way. <laughs> okay, so, who, who's, so who's your college football team now? Who do I watch? Uh, I only watch one college football team when I do watch. And that's my alma mater. You know what I mean? I'm not a Florida State fan, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm very offended. I'm very offended. If I watch sports, it's usually the New England Patriots, uh, Boston Celtics. Uh, oh, Boston are you mad? Florida. Yeah. Boston Celtics, you, yeah. Yeah. So are you mad it. about this? This the, the Bucks winning? No, I'm not mad about that. I... I I, I think it's more a Tom Brady thing than the Bucks thing because, you know, the Bucks have fans in, in Massachusetts now, you know, but it's all about Tom Brady. I, for me, it's like, eh, we, you know, he's been winning all these years. He's still winning. It's fine. It doesn't make much of a difference to me anymore. You know what I mean? But um, it is what it is. It is what it is. True, true, true. Okay. And then, so now, final question then. You work for NBC? Oh, really? <laughs> Question mark? Sorry. I was, I was called early today. I worked. They were like, is that a question or a statement? I was like, oh, um, 
Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, um, um, so let's talk about the power of suggestion. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Why is that important? I mean, for me, it's important. Like I said, for me, I always, like, try to teach my kids. I'm always, like, trying to teach. I don't feel like I have enough time to, to teach. That That's my main... My main purpose is like yeah. teaching, teaching my kids, sharing my kids. That's like my main purpose. So when you start, when you ask me about the power suggestion, it's all around us. It's from TV to commercials. When you walk yeah. out your door, it's it's everywhere. So yeah. realizing it and understanding it, you know, some people do things and they don't even know why they're doing it. Or sometimes they may see a commercial on TV and the commercial maybe talk about a specific sickness, maybe shingles. And all of a sudden, the person comes down with shingles, and they don't know why. You know what I mean? They don't know what happened. But if you're yeah. sitting there all day, and it's repetition is the mother's skill. Repetition, repetition, repetition. And you're getting bombarded, and you're getting beat up on with these messages <clears throat> constantly, and you don't guard your mind, and you don't protect your mind, then something's got to manifest sooner or later. So when you start talking about the power of suggestion, it's a big one. It's huge. But you're dealing with the computer, you're dealing with the music, you're dealing with the movies, you're dealing with so much. You're competing with everything. So the power suggestion is, is huge. It's huge. So what, um, <clears throat> what tips can you give us to, to perfect our, perfect, our um, suggestion skills? Um, you always hear people talk about meditation. I think meditation is not an easy practice. It all depends on how and you know how how deep you want to go with meditation. Um, for me, I like listening to audio. I find out if I listen to certain, I don't want to say a certain genre. Maybe you can listen to like some five twenty eight hertz. You know, you can listen to certain frequencies and and understanding those things better and studying. Like I heard Earl Nightingale said today. I listen to Aud Audible a lot. I listen to Earl Nightingale. Yeah. He's he's somebody I checked out. And he said, people believe in what they know. Okay? People believe in what they know. So you're only going, your, 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 your belief is only limited to your knowledge. But when, yeah. not, when your knowledge grows, what happens? Your belief grows. <laughs> so what I would say, how, how to protect your mind is finding good stuff to, to put inside of it. You know what I mean? Because if you put the, the right stuff in your mind, and you the right material in your mind, when you need it, it will be there. Then you're not, when you get bombarded, then you can go back to something that maybe it's a quote. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's something simple as an affirmation. Maybe it's something like that, that you could hold on to. You could, you could ground yourself. Maybe you have a vision board. You could, you could do things like that. But remember, if you don't program yourself, it's a, it's a, it's programming. So if you don't program yourself, you're going to leave yourself open. You're going to open. That's why they say protect, guard your mind, protect your mind. Protect your mind. The helmet of salvation that they used to talk about all the time. Wait, no, wait. I don't know what that is. You don't know the helmet of helmet, salvation? Helmet of salvation. No, I don't know helmet, what that is. Okay, helmet of salvation. As growing up in church, I used to learn about the whole, the full armor of God. You put on the full armor of God. And they always say protect your mind with the helmet of salvation. And basically, it's, it's protecting your thoughts. That's basically what it is. Sorry, I have to write that down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here. So I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, 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 okay. Um, do you think there's a difference between being intelligent and being wise? <laughs> Is there a difference? <laughs> so is, there, is, there, <laughs> is there a difference of being to being intelligent and being wise? Yeah. Because like because like Elon Musk is very intelligent. He's super smart. Right? Mm -hmm. And I like to think that oh my god, who is Rain Jeffs and Roses and Mittens on Kittens? What's what's her what's her name? Yeah, Julie I, I, Andrews. Okay, yeah, I got you. you. You know who she is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> She's you. very wise. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's the difference between them? Well, I think wisdom. You. 
difference between being intelligent and being wise? Do you think there is a difference? Of course, there, there has to be a difference. Of course. I mean, you, you would meet people and you would hear people say, oh, that person's an old soul. That's, that person, you know, they're a real old soul. Well, what do they mean when they say that? Were they here before? I, I don't know, but I used to hear that as a kid. He's an old soul. What does that mean? So when you, you talk about wisdom, and then I, I was taught you ask for wisdom. Wisdom is something that you, you ask for. That doesn't, that's not, everybody isn't going to have wisdom. But even, even with intelligence, even with intelligence, you could work and you could become intelligent. You know what I mean? But does it, does it actually, let's say, does it, does it even out? Does it even out? When I say even out, does it, does, does, is one more important than the other? Because if you don't have the, the, the right information, which is intelligence, or, and there's, there's emotional intelligence, because there's, there's a lot of type of intelligence. There's emotional intelligence. You may not, and I tell my kids this, I say, you don't have to be the smartest person in the room. Find them. So isn't it intelligent to find somebody who may know more than you? Is that wisdom? I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. So if you can listen and you can learn from somebody else, like maybe the older generation or somebody uh, who's, who's already gone down your path, that I would call that wise. You know what I mean? If, I would, if you could sit and you could listen or you would ask the question, isn't that, that, that wise? So I mean, it's all it's all a matter of perspective. I think, I think it's a matter of perspective, because there's a lot of smart people that do a lot of stupid things. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean they're wise. They may be book smart. You could do a lot of reading. You may be book smart, but emotionally, you might not, you might not be there. So it takes time. Everything takes time. Everything takes time. I would say, you know. I I still want to delve deeper. Like, what what got you to this point in life? <laughs> well, you don't mind sharing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. When you say what got me to this point, I mean because like, I, like you're very like you're very you're very self aware, and I hate that I hate that phrasing so much. But like for to, to to be cliche, what got you to this point? Well, I think for me, I don't think it was just it's just one thing. It's a progression. It's a progression. You you know you bump your head against the wall a few times. You you figure, hey, I, I can't do that again. I can't make yeah. that. Keep on making. And there's some people who just keep on doing the same thing <clears throat> over and over and over again and not learning. So at what point do you you get to and you're like, hey, this isn't working, and I need to to make a change. You know what does it take? You know, and we all go through trials and tribulations as we grow and. Either you're going to learn from it or you're going to keep... It's a lesson. Life's, life has many lessons. Many lessons. And of course, I've had my lessons. I still, I still learn every day. Every day. But there, there we go. That's a choice, though. If you, you're going to either learn or you're going to see the lesson in it or you are you just going to walk away and pretend that that just didn't happen. And there were things in my life that made me say, hey, I got to, whoa, slow down. Slow down. But I grew up, I grew up in, a, in a family where... I'm a PK. I grew up, my dad's a preacher. So I grew up with being taught the Bible. You understand? And I, you know, I have a, I come from a pretty big family. So I had, I had the foundation. I, I had the foundation. I'm, I'm always going to be grateful for, for the foundation. I had that. But when I became older, I started asking more questions, asking more questions and seeking you'll find. Knock and the door shall be open. But if you never seek and you never ask the questions, how are you going to get the answers? I was only laughing because you guys in the north, you end your, your sentences with questions. I didn't get you again. I'm sorry. I I only laughed before because you guys in in the north, you mm -hmm. you. You end your sentences with questions. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's just, it's, don't be sorry. I, I think it's I think it's super fun. I think it's super fun that you guys do that. <laughs> because like my boss, my boss is from the north. And, like okay. she'll say like like you get what I'm saying. I'm like yeah, like you, you just said it. So, <laughs> I think it's so fun that you guys do that. <laughs> okay. Um. 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 You're a music producer. I mean, <laughs> I do the music too. Yeah, I, I, I've been working with music for a while, for a long time. So, I mean, for me, it's just um, 
meeting, you know, I have my go-to guys, you know, and I just enjoy, you know, messing around with music. That's all. How long have you been doing that for? Long time. Long time, years. Years. I mean, you know how you... So what's... Was... Go ahead. What is your connection with Tentacion? <laughs> because you talk about him a lot on your channel. I love X. I love X. For me, um, I know he caught a lot of flack in the media. I know he, he got hit pretty hard in the media. But for him to probably go through what he went through and, you know, and everything happened the way it happened. I'm not going to even go into everything that happened. But for me, I'll just tell you, for me, why I like X and why I, yeah. I, I keep him back here behind me. Um, on my journey, I'll talk about my journey. You you asked me about, like, the law of karma. You asked me about the yeah. law, law suggestion. What what brought that to my attention was 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 X. You know, I was listening when he first came, when I first started listening to him and, and hearing him. And like I said, I'm way older than X. And when I started listening to him, he, he talked about a book that I read, that I was reading, I already had read, and I just, like, I just, like, kicked the book to the side, and I wasn't really, like, paying it much attention. So I, I checked out the book again, started reading the book again. But for, for me, he connected a lot of the dots from a scientific standpoint, okay, as far as, like, the laws and, and laws of the universe and things like that. What I think, especially, and I think his impact is going to be felt for a long time with a lot of people because I think he was really trying to help people. I think, I know he knew he made mistakes and he was trying to, like atone for those things and try to yeah. do right and, and make good. And for me, I feel like for someone that young to to have that kind of impact, to realize that they they were wrong. Like I said, I would never apologize for anything that X did, but I think he probably tried to share a lot more, a lot from his experiences, you know, and I gathered, and like, like I said, I, I learned from just listening to him. I had to sit back and I could have said, I don't want to hear this rapper because I wasn't really, that's not, that wasn't really my genre. So when I, I got into X, it was like, I, I could have been like, I don't want to hear it. He's just a mumble rapper. He's just a SoundCloud rapper. But what I did was I pulled myself back and I, and I started to dig in to see what his message was. I wanted to know what his message was. And for me, his message is, it's never too late to change. No matter what people may say about him, he, he, he evolved. He grew. He was changing. I'm like I yeah. said, and I don't think he was a he was a bad person at the core, but he grew, and I for him not to like for people not to listen to his story or what he was saying or try to understand him, I think that was 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 a big tragedy, as far as I'm concerned, because the 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 youth, he how much he loved the youth and being a voice for the youth, I think it, it was it was unbelievable. You know, so I'm a, I'm I, I like XXX. <laughs> so this is random. I wasn't go planning ahead. to ask you this if go you don't ahead. mind. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, so I was listening to something for the past couple of weeks about the the first sin, mm. right? Mm. And about how like we shouldn't feel guilt. Mm for committing that sin because like it's a learning lesson how can we use the, the first sin in order to like not carry that weight that, that it doesn't even belong to us because okay you you, you reply now <laughs> okay. well well you say the first sin so the first sin that we commit this first sin that was committed when you say first sin because how do you know it's a sin? How how do you know it's a sin? Who told you that it was a sin? You understand? So I can't tell you what's right for you is right for you. You know what I'm saying? I can't do what you do. You know what I'm saying? If you think something is wrong, it's wrong. It's not for me to decide. You know right from wrong. So when you say that first sin, you know what you should do for what you shouldn't do. You know if you steal, you steal something, you know like I shouldn't have did that or you knew it at before you did it. Yeah. So when you say the first sin, I guess, I guess my question would be, well, who said that was? What's that sin, and who said that was a sin? I I, I don't know what sin that is. Oh wow. You know what I mean? 
Oh, wow. Didn't they say everything that God made is good? Everything that God, everything that God made is good. Everything. Mm -hmm. And in all things, give thanks. That's what I was taught. In all things, give thanks. That's what I was taught. So either what I was taught, either it's not the truth or it's a lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so sorry, no, sir, sir, sir. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, something lighthearted. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I believe it's getting way too so, so deep. Sorry, sorry. Okay, no, that's cool. Salty, salty or sweet? Probably salty. Why? Why? I mean, uh, your body is made up of salt. You know, you you got so much salt in your body. It's you know the ocean. A lot of different things. A lot of different things. You know, you need salt. You need salt. You don't necessarily need sugar, but you need salt. That's true. But then diabetes. That's salt. That's sugar. No, it's not. Is it really? Sugar, sugar. yeah. That's no, sugar. yes. Diabetes Diabetes is sugar. Yeah. yeah. But like, I'd rather have a pretzel than like a Sour Patch Kid. Okay. Then you, you good then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is the earth flat? Is the, oh, you're, you're a flat earther? I used yeah. to be. You used to be. I used to be part of that cult. It was fun for a while. It was very <laughs> what, fun. So what changed, everyone was very nice. What changed your mind? What changed your mind? I want to say Elon Musk. Uh, uh, okay, I didn't hear his take on it. I mean, for me, this is what it is for me. Uh, I, you know, at first I had some flat earthers, you know, come on my channel, and I'm just like, well, I, I don't get it. What's the, what's the big deal if the Earth is flat or is it round? What difference does it make? You know, to me, it makes oh, no, yeah. it makes no difference. You yeah. know what I mean? It really doesn't. But if you want to sit there, you want to go back and forth in an argument trying to prove your point. <laughs> go right ahead, knock yourself out. But I just didn't, and I and I asked. I'm like, what's the, and there's people. Some people gave me, it, you know, gave me their their answers, and it went into God and all this. And I'm like, cool. I respect that. I don't have a problem with it. But for me, it's like I don't have the time to go back and forth. You know, it's a waste of time, as far as I'm concerned. That's all. You know? I agree with that. I that I feel like people who people are like looking for a fight because they're bored in their life. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. like I'm sorry, like I'm like go go like go to the gym, like go like go for a jog or something. Like I don't have time to fight with you. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, please tell us where we can like you, stalk you, follow you, all that fun stuff. Okay, you can. Find, I do my I do all my work. A lot of I go live a lot on YouTube, so you can find me at the Infinite Creators on YouTube. You can find the group on it's, uh, the Infinite Creators. It's a YouTube group. Uh, uh, no, the Facebook group, uh, the Infinite Creators. I'm on Twitch now with the Infinite Creators on Twitch. Then uh, the Gram, the Gram, I'm uh, the Infinite Creators on the Gram. So that's basically where I am. The website I'm still working on, but it's it's up there. It's theinfinitecreators.com. So yeah, we're yeah. putting this, we're putting this on work. We're putting this on work. You know, just trying to just trying to help people by sharing information and and learning from the stories from from other people you know what i mean um it's just about educating knowledge because with knowledge you could you could change your life you know what i mean i was fortunate yeah. enough that i was able to, to and i know some some people feel like college isn't that important but i i don't feel that way i feel like college is, is very important and the reason i feel like college is important is because it changed my life it changed my life you know it, without an education you know i mean what do you what do you want me to tell you? You're, you're, you're limited, you're limited, and that goes back to knowledge. You know, for me, education pr helped me think outside the box. Now you got to figure out how to think a certain way. You got to learn how to collaborate. So there, there's so much that that education can get you. Now is education just going to school? Is knowledge just going to school? No, you can learn from books. You could be an apprentice and get that knowledge. There's a lot of ways you can get, acquire knowledge. But for me, I would say if you, you have the opportunity, and I go back and forth with people with this all the time, and, and I don't think that they're wrong, but I, I would be a sucker to tell somebody not to go to college, and I got a college degree. You understand? So mm -hmm. I would tell 
I would always try to tell a younger person to, hey, get your education. It's the difference between making $30,000 and $80,000 if that's what you, you want to do. So it all depends on what you want to do, but I, I'm all for education. Yeah. You're like a um you're like a marriage between Thomas Sowell and Alan Watts. Oh, I Do you love know who Alan they are? Watts. I know Alan Watts. Who's the first person you were talking about? Thomas Sowell. Never heard of him. I gotta go check him yeah. out. Yeah. But you're like you're like a marriage between them. But okay, and then final uh, question. Um, um 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 what does it say? What does it say? Oh, okay. So you invite guests into your show as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which you go live like once a week? Well, I go live whenever I can, when, whenever it pops up, I go live. I mean, <laughs> if the time is right, I mean, I'll go live. <laughs> you know, as long as it works out, you know what I mean? But I'm not like on a schedule where it's like, okay, I'm going to go live Monday or Tuesday. No, if, yeah. if it's there, it's there. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's it's not, you know. Yeah. So, but, what advice would you give to? No, sorry, not not what advice. What's the best advice you've heard? So, what from someone who you invite into onto your life? I've heard so much good advice, and that's why I, I enjoy it. I, I I think I get more out of the channel than than other people. I feel like I've, mm -hmm. I've taken so much, even in this the short period of time. But the I, I can't say there's just one thing that I've heard. There's things that, that stick out and they pop up. They always pop up, you know? And it's just not one person or one thing. There's so many. Like, I could go back and I could start looking at videos or, or, or streams and I'm going to and I'm gonna learn something. And that's what I hope people get out of the, the channel. That's what I want people to get out of the, the group. That's what I want people to get out of the Infinite Greatest. I want them to, to feel a part... Uh, part of a community and that they can go somewhere and they can learn, you know, and it's just not about one person because you, you might get some something from somebody who's into something totally different than what you, than yeah. what you into. I've had that happen to me, but all I could do is I can respect them and I can salute them because now I'm not closed off. I don't, I'm not like, I don't just close my mind off to information or from people because I don't understand them. I'm trying to understand where they're coming from. So how do how do you do that? By asking questions. Questions are the answers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. OK. And then <laughs> last question, who, who's that behind your back? <laughs> who's that? Oh, that's Molly. Who is that? Molly? Bob Molly? That's not Bob Marley. Wait, right here, X? You talking about X, 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 Tentacion? Oh, that's that's X, is that is that X X X? Yeah, that's X X X Tasia. Oh, that's, okay, I didn't know that. That's my X is my favorite artist. I roll with X because he's my favorite artist. I think if you gave X, I think if he had the the years that Michael jo Michael Jackson had, I don't even think it's close. And that's just me personally. And I like I said, and it's I don't want to call it a generational thing, but this the 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 music that he did, the genres that he he married, being rock, uh, emotional music, uh, big rap, R and B. He did so many genres. That's why for me, I really don't think that. And this is just me talking, and anybody could dispute me, but I, it is what it is. I just think his possibilities were limitless. I think he could go anywhere as far as being an artist. Yeah. I think he would. I think. I don't think there was anybody who probably could have touched him. And if he had the time, I think you, we, we would have seen a, a, a great artist. Which he, he was a great artist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop. Well, no, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. No, like now I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Do, but, do, you, um, know, do you know the, the musical Rent? Yeah, I've heard, no, I've yeah, seen it before. yeah. You're from the north. You you know musicals, Broadway. Yeah. Just it just yeah. reopened, guys. Go okay. watch a Broadway yeah. play. Cat. But um, yeah. So the um the composer of, of the musical Rent um he died early at a very young age, mm -hmm. and um. 
that's what he's known for. He's known for rent. Mm. And I think it's always very distressful when mm. someone's known for something. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? No, like when he's known when he was known for I will always love you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's <sighs> because they could have done always done so much more. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean I mean we all want to think we have forever, but you know, we, you just gotta yeah. make the most of what you what you have. And I think yeah. and, and for me for me, and this is another thing that I I I'll I'll say about him. He may have been like 19, 20 years old, but in reality, he was a lot older. He was way before his time, you know? And a lot of people probably didn't get that. He, he lived a hard life. There's no doubt about that. You could, you could see he lived a hard life. But I think what he was trying to share and what he was trying to give back, I think it was, you know, people should have listened or tried to listen to what he was saying. And, if, you know, and if you can't, sometimes we can't get past the tattoos and we can't get past, yeah. you know, the, the the language we can't get past the things but for me it was like i got i got past it all and i'm like oh this is what he was talking about but i was on a certain for me i was on a certain path i was on a different path so yeah it was kind of easier for me at that point at that point it was kind of easy for me to spot that because i was i was somewhere else wow thank you so much for your time yo this was so oh no problem no problem this was so fruitful for me. For me too. I, I really do sincerely appreciate your patience, by the way. I, I forgive my tardiness. It's all good. It's all good. I get it. I get it. <laughs> we got to do, do our thing. I get it. I understand. I understand. No problem. No problem. No problem. Unfortunately. But um, I, hope <laughs> we can stay in, I hope we can stay in communication with one another because, yeah, you're... You're something else. I don't know if it's a good good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> hey, what do you call your name? You what you you're the art of dragons, you said? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Where where'd that come from? Um, do you watch Game of Thrones? Do you watch no, Game of Thrones? No. I've heard about it. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> There's a character called the 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 Mother of Dragons. So when I signed okay. up for Instagram, I was like, I want to be okay. queen, but like it was already clicking. So I just said, I'll just be the aunt. It was nothing, uh -huh. nothing intentional, nothing intentional at all. Okay. I wish all it was. Right. All right. I wish it was. And, and what crystal that you got rocking? What crystal are you rocking with? Am Am Amethyst. Why is everybody getting the Amethyst? Why is everybody? Why is everybody always attracted to amethyst? This, this was this was a gift to me. So this was not intentional. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Literally, like, like nothing it? in my life is intentional. Nothing in my life is intentional. Uh, you like the amethyst? I think it looks pretty. Okay, all right, cool, cool, and no other. But, but no my birthday. Huh? huh? No other stone that, you, uh, you, that you're drawn to. Is no, gotcha. no, okay. no! Literally, this, this was a gift. I I don't know anything about stones and like nothing about I know I know like nothing about astrology. This was a gift, and I okay. appreciate gifts given to me. I I pre I wear the heck out of everything people give to me. I wear the heck out of it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I hate you. I hate like I literally I have like I have like God. I, I have so much stuff from people like that. I, like it should be thrown out, but like I'm like. Mm -hmm. You thought of me, so like, why should I wear it or own it until like it's useless? Diamonds. I hope. I wish. Send me diamonds. I'll, I'll, I'll wear the. I'll wear the diamonds. Like, <laughs> send me diamonds. I'll wear the. I'll wear the diamonds until, until they're useless. Yeah, I bet you. Will. <laughs> Yo. So why do you? Prefer, I, I really. Why? Why do you prefer? Um, Instagram Live over I wouldn't say any other platform. What, what, Fantastic what do you think about question. Instagram? Because um, other streams sometimes they glitch. Instagram Live is always consistent. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. I because mean, because that's, also that's... also because I use my phone. I don't use my laptop because my laptop is unuseful. 
So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so on one of my posts, I don't know if you can still hear me. On one of my posts, you said you were going to show me something. You never, you never showed it to me. <laughs> you work, then you work on your job. Work hard on yourself, then you work on your job. You left a comment. You said, I'm going to show you something. <laughs> it probably wasn't anything. You probably have to look at it. Through. It was probably me. It's probably me. It's probably me. It's probably me. It's probably me. Whatever. It's no big deal. It's probably going to be like a workout thing. It's probably going to be like a workout thing. Because I'm trying I'm trying to work out, work out hard on my body. My goal, okay. my goal is to do my my goal is to go in the cage sometime either this year or next year. I'm going to go in the cage. Okay. Okay. Oh, you. Are you, gonna, are, you, are you gonna show up? <laughs> are you gonna you show fighting? up if I if I go in the cage? You fighting? You you fighting? You, you MMA fighting? What? Yeah, there's, there's yeah there's there's no genders anymore, so I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat up a boy. You gonna show up? <laughs> I don't want to see that. No, I can't see that. Oh, you, there's no genders anymore. I'm gonna beat up a boy. You gonna show up? <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do that. no. no. <laughs> When I win, I'll tag you. I'll tag you and yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, tag me, tag me. I want to see you beat up this boy. <laughs> and then even if even if he wins, he'll be known as the guy, the guy who beats up a girl. So uh, he's he's a, he's a loser. He's a loser. He already <laughs> it's a lose lose for him. <laughs> yeah, he's a loser. He's a loser. Even if he shows up, he's a loser. He's a loser. He got away. He's a loser. Again, for your patience, uh, um, I, I I'm, I'm so gonna stop. <laughs> you, you're, you're such a phenomenal human, human being. Thank you so much for being on this planet while, while I'm alive. Okay. Thank you. You are too. You keep up the good work too. Thank you put out some great content. I'm like what you're doing. I'm trying to get like you, son. Keep it up. You work. You no, 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 no. no. Bro, you're, you're the one. You're, you're the one who's you're, famous. You how how you? Bro, bro, you got like. You got like three thousand like views of a, a video. Like serious? I'm not like you. I'm not like you. I, a <laughs> oh come on! I humbly bow before you. There you go. Oh, uh, you're I so serious. You. I, salute, I salute the divinity in you. I respect the divinity in you. You know what I mean? You, I, I, you I, I, no I respect the divinity in you. Keep on doing what you do. Keep on doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? I can't be you, so I might as well be me. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. You know, I can't be nobody else but me. I salute you. <laughs> <laughs> I salute you. I appreciate you, man. I'll talk to you there, okay? You too. Take care. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <All right. laughs>